Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how to remove elements dynamically during the runtime, only during the execution. So we can achieve that with Puppeteer. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So let me show you what exactly we are going to remove. So if I open the login.html which we have created in our previous video, see the username label is there and you enter username input field is there, same password label, enter password input field, button remember me is there. So now, so what I'll do in this scenario, I'll just remove the in, input tags, these two text boxes. So you'll see username, password, login, remember me. So without any further ado, let us start the program. So now, so let me copy the puppeteer verb from here. So I'll copy, I'll paste it here. So now I'll copy the describe and it block. So I can use the code and I'll copy also the closing braces. So now I'll copy from to here. Now. So let me remove the describe description whatever it is here. So let me add remove elements dynamically remove elements dynamically during execution. Execution. So I'll copy the same. I'll write it write same in that block. So that block is our test. So what I'll do. I'll copy the describe road description and I'll paste it here by adding the test. So I'll add test. So I'll paste it here. So I'll copy it, I'll paste it here. Now I'll write remove test, remove elements dynamically during execution. So I'll write remove elements dynamically during execution I'll take a browser because we need a browser to launch so I'll write constant browser await I can take this puppet over then I dot I'll launch it I'll, I'll launch it in a headless mode so headless put I'll put FALSC so that we can see the execution now i'll put constant page equal to await browser dot new page after that what i'll do we have to go to the same login page which i have shown you in the beginning of the video so let me take let me copy the url from here so let me copy this. Now I'll go to remove dynamic elements. Now I've pasted it here. So now I'll put await page dot go to URL. Same thing which we have copied. Now once we have done that, now we have to create a DOM object. In the DOM, DOM is not HTML page, entire HTML page is nothing but a document object model DOM. Through DOM, we can access the J JavaScript. So what we'll do, we'll do await page dot evaluate. In the evaluate, we'll write an arrow function. And then we'll open we'll open the bracket, close the bracket, so brackets. And here I'll write document document dot query for query selector all in a sense query selector all what all the input what all the tags we give select everything so if i give input it will search for all input tags in the entire dom page and i'll put it put as a array now what i'll do i'll create for each i'll put element I'll tell el dot 
will move. Remove as a method. Once I have removed that, I can wait for a while to see whether the execution has removed during execution input uh, text box have removed. So I'll do I'll wait for let's say five seconds so that we can we can see it properly. Await after that I can close the browser. Now let us start the execution. I have already kept remove dynamic elements here. So let me run npm test. We will wait for the browser to be launched. It will be very quick. Just have a look at it since I have given only 5 seconds. So it will launch the browser, it will load the contents, and you could see clearly the input tag text boxes would be gone. Now we have got the description of description here. Now let us open it. Now the browser has launched. You can see username text field and password text field are not there. Now the execution has passed. If you really like the video guys, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.